third baseman, Chipper Jones. When I heard his name announced that opening day, and they get five straight hits to start the ball game, and Chipper is one of them, I knew something good was going to happen that year. High fly ball, deep left center field. McCray and Timmons look up. Goodbye. Fifth home run tonight by the Atlanta offense. We've ever heard a team as good as the 95 team turned out to be. Start a rookie and bat third. You know, he stepped right into the lineup. Bobby put him in the lineup batting third right away. And he didn't back away from that one bit. He played well. I remember he called home after he hit his first home run. Deep to right field. And with one swing of his bat, Chipper Jones has untied the game. It's 3-2 Atlanta. He said, Dad, I had to go down in the tunnel. I had to dry some tears from my eyes. That's my first big league home run. And he was not just the rookie amongst a bunch of giants. He was making his own contributions and getting big clutch hits at an early age. The winner. Here it is. It's gone. There it goes. The young star of the Braves, Chipper Jones, the Floridian. You know, some pretty good things happened during the course of 1995. And give the chipper a triple and an RBI is 86. Do you think he's smelling rookie of the year? He seemed unfulfilled with his performance until the playoffs. Well, I still think um, my first playoff game might have been the best game that I ever played in my life. Excitement could not be riding any higher than it is in Denver, Colorado. And tonight they play host in the opening game of the division series with the Atlanta Braves here at Coors Field. That was the scariest series of the year. That's one of the scariest teams we've ever faced as a pitching staff. They were loaded. They had nothing to lose. You know, this expansion team coming, going to beat the Braves. And really, in theory, they had a speed. But Chipper came up with a couple huge plays and a couple huge at-bats. Chipper Jones leads off the top half of the sixth inning, sends one deep to right field. Larry Walker to the warning track. This ball is gone. Home run for Chipper Jones to lead off the top half of the sixth inning. You know, the one play that I think turned us around was a play that he made over the third base back. I'll never forget this play that he made in third base when Galarraga was hitting. Jeff Blauser let me know via whistle that uh, changeup was coming and so I took a couple shuffle steps towards the line and man Galarraga hit a rocket down the line. Line. Great play by Chipper Jones, gets the out at second base. What a play by Chipper Jones. I laid out, stuck my glove out, it stuck, I threw Walker out. If he doesn't make that play, we're not going, we're out. We're, we're probably not going to go to the World Series. That was the big play, and it was a defensive play. Saved a double and certainly saved a run. And then I come up leading off the ninth off Curtis Luskanek and, and hit the game-winning home run. Here's the 2-0 pitch to Jones. High fly ball out to right center field. How much carry on this one? Back to the wall goes Kingery. Chipper Jones has connected for his second home run of the night. And the rookie from Jacksonville, Florida, has just given the Braves a 5-4 lead. He just had an aura about him, uh, confidence that this guy's going to be special uh, from the opposing side. I mean, pressure situation in the playoffs against the Rockies, 95, who beats us? Chipper Jones. That really set the tone, I think, for the whole series. We went out there and won a couple of close games late. Uh, after we won that game, I told everybody we want to win the whole thing, and that's what happened. We're in our moment. Uh, every, everything was going our way, and Chipper was a big part of that. We go to the ninth inning. Mark Waller's on to pitch. Three little outs between the Braves and a World Series title. Oh, we got in the bag. We got in the bag. We had the utmost confidence and the utmost trust in each other that year. Glavin pitched greatest game of his life at the best time of our lives. And when Wolers came in and got Kenny Lofton out, then I knew we were going to win. 
and keep lofting off the bases. You know, it was just a matter of time before before Wolvers was going to close the door. Fly ball deep left center. Grissom on the run. Yes, yes, yes. The yes, yes, yes. yes. Braves have given you a championship. Listen to this crowd. It's just a euphoric feeling, you know. I mean, it's it, it's something you you dream about as a kid. You go through all those scenarios when you're a kid. Now I'm just like really living it. Like there's thousands and thousands of pounds of humanity, you know, right down on top of me, and everybody's screaming. It was great. Loved it. We've got a picture of him standing on home plate and him holding his two fingers up and he points at his mom and, you know, that's, that's special stuff. He came a long ways as a rookie and, um, you know, having the rehab from the injury, not knowing how well it's gonna turn out actually. You know, great athletes can go their entire careers and never win an NBA championship, a Super Bowl, or a world championship. So, it, you know, when you get one, you've got it. It's, it's like the triple crown. I mean, you think about coming back from the injury in and of itself, having an unbelievable rookie campaign and winning the World Series. I mean, that's a dream year short of him winning the MVP. When as a player, you have individual accolades, you'd give up all of them if you could win the World Series. And that's the dream year.